We had to do things to be a headquarters in Marine Corps to increase our ability to support our families to live out in the have y'all felt that the BAH rates have kept BAH up? BAH rates have gone up, sir, yes, 100%. They've gone up about, on average, 17% over the last five years. So I went up doing the math, and 17 is yeah. equal to 43. <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> now it's not as bad as you know. Like born here in the state and served, uh, and those of us that weren't, but but maybe consider it where we're going to. Being told is that the good things that are happening there. And, uh, Back to Captain Brown's point, right? That officer doing a Herculean work, yeah. getting all the moving parts done. Uh, when you ride around the base, you'll see a lot of standing sea metal roofs. Uh, to both the governor and the secretary for taking their time during Military Appreciation Month to come down and see us, and also the advocacy that the administration continues to have for all its service members in North Carolina to make a difference in the quality of life of our families. Uh, and to the secretary's point, Marines enjoy being, we retain the Marines family. And that comes down to quality of life. If a Marine or a sailor or a civilian employees know that their family is being looked after and taken care of, we'll go anywhere in the world when the nation needs us. The veterans who deserve to be compensated for the courage they've had.